Don Spell. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another book haul. This might seem like a quick video, but there's a lot of books, so I want to get them put away. But a lot of them were anticipated releases, so I'm not going to read the synopsis. Like two pals out of three are anticipated releases. But um, I'll start with the books that were sent to me first. Harper Collins had sent me the third in the Spirit Hunter series, The Island of Monsters by L. &L. And I mentioned this before, I had no idea there was going to be a third one because I have the first two. I've had the first two forever, so I'm so excited. Thank you so much. It's perfect for spooky season or any time. So I can't wait to read this soon. And the author reached out to me and was so sweet. And Judith Eagle, and she sent me her latest middle grade release that's out now. This is out now, too. The Accidental Stowaway. I love the Pear Affair by her. So I cannot wait to read it. I anticipate a release also, so I'll read the synopsis. And I have The Secret Starling by her that I need to read too, but I love the Pear Affair, so I cannot wait to read and historical fiction. So excited. Thank you so much. And then the author reached out to me, Julie Buxbaum, and asked if she could send me her new her new middle grade book that's out now. And it's an anticipated release, so I said, yes please. The Area 51 Files. I think I forgot this one on my video because I can't get them all. Like I missed some that I've been waiting for. I try to keep track of all of them, but it's hard. So I'll read the synopsis for this one. I'm so glad she messaged me. What happens in Area, 1, Area 51 stays in Area 51. When Sky Patel Baum is sent to live with her mysterious uncle, she never imagines she'll end up in Area 51, a top secret military base with a bajillion rules. Sky feels like she's landed in a whole new world, even though she hasn't left the planet. But guess what? Area 51 is full of aliens. Lots and lots of aliens. But something even stranger is happening in Area 51. Aliens are going missing. Where could they be? How, could, how come everyone thinks Sky and her uncle are involved in their disappearance? And why are there eyeballs in the macaroni and cheese at Area 51 Middle School? <laughs> Sky must team up with her pizza-obsessed pet hedgehog, Spike, <laughs> her otherworldly next-door neighbor, Elvis, and his fluffy pup, Pickles, to solve the case. <laughs> oh, I love that. Spike just makes me think of Buffy. Elvis. I mean, I love Elvis. And Pickles. I may not know about this about me, but I love Pickles. Pickles, Pickles, Pickles. So, I just saw signs. I'm going to love it. And it's the first in a series. Thank you so much to the author. Like I said, this is out now. Oh, and I'm so excited. <laughs> Al Gunquin, publisher, or someone from there reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in posting about reading and reviewing, you know, the fourth in the Myrtle Hardcastle Mystery Series. And this is the fourth book in Myrtle Peril by, by Elizabeth C. Bunce. So, of course, I said yes, because if you've been here for a while, you know that this is one of my all-time favorite series. Historical fiction, detective style, mystery middle grade. And I just love it so much. Her and her governess just i love this series so much and this comes out october 4th so i'm going to be reading this very soon i'm so excited thank you so much i'll go and i think i'm saying the publisher name right i'm so excited i got a package with four books from hopper collins so thank you so much the curse on spectacle key by chantelle acevado and i love the Muse squad books by her so much i'm so excited she has a new book out and it looks spooky. I've had this in my anticipated videos release. I had this in my anticipated release video, so I'm not gonna read the synopsis. But it sounds spooky. I'm just so excited. And then Where You've Got to Be by Caroline Gertler. This is also in my most highly anticipated release video, so I'm not gonna read the synopsis, but I'm so excited. And this is out now, and this is out now. The third in the Maya series by Rena Barron. Rena Barron. I have the first two books, so I can't wait to just binge the, all of these. I don't know if this is the last book, if it's just going to be a trilogy. But this is Maya and the Lord of Shadows. I don't worry, this sounds like it says it's the third. But these just sound so amazing, and I cannot wait to binge them all. I don't know. Then they sent me a finished copy of The Whispering Fog by Alondra Jennings. And the author has sent me an arc, and I recently read it, and I loved it so much. So I'm so happy I have a beautiful finished copy. So thank you so much to the author for the ARC and then HarperCollins for sending me this beautiful finished copy. And this is also out now, like I keep saying. So beautiful. I love this book. It's such a spooky, great sister story. Like a Snow White, Red Rose. Mm. Well, not everyone I'm reading right now is in my bedroom because the ones that are um, about to be released or they sent to me and they just came out, I bumped them up since they are so new released or coming up. And so there's one in there I'm reading now. 
should have mentioned this one first since it was sent before all their other ones actually. But HarperCollins had also sent me Monster Club by Baron Aronofsky and Ari. Ari? This is a release video too, so. Now this also looks sent to me. Be like a graphic novel with picture book, but Young Agatha, uh, Young Agatha Christie by Argo. I don't remember if this was in my anticipated release video, but it's a young act of the Christie, so you can pretty much guess what it's about. I'm excited to have that. And this is in my, I'm doing graphic novels first, so the rest of the books yet aren't anticipated releases, but Cupcake Diaries, Katie and the Cupcake Cure, a graphic novel. This is in my anticipated release video, so we'll read the synopsis. This just sounds amazing. The art is beautiful, and I love food and mulberry. This was also a Mantis Fade release. Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Magical Stories. Since it was in that video, I won't read the synopsis, but I love Sabrina the Teenage Witch, so. And this is smart. Reminds me of reading Sunday comics in the newspaper. The next are sequels that I got, and the first is a graphic novel, Up to No Ghoul by Chloe Bunn, Cat Ferris. And this is a sequel to The Ghoul Next Door, which I've had forever and really need to read. Another spooky graphic novel. And the pre-order, I pre-ordered from Waterstone, Waterstone on, in August of last year. <laughs> and was released September 1st. I finally got like September 16th or something. I'm already in the great game. I had my US edition, I was just... I'm like, why is it? What's the point of pre ordering if it doesn't even ship until like the 15th? The sign has the sprayed edges. I really enjoyed the first book and can't wait to see what happens next. And I got the second and the Prometheus High series by Stuart Wilson, The Books of the Dead. I think I'm really gonna love these and I cannot wait to read the first book and then this one. It just sounds so good. And that's actually all for sequels. My searches, I found two books. The Swamp Witch Chronicles, Greg Solly, and it says Cat Luker at the top, which I think is the main character, so I don't know if that's just the name of this book in the Chronicles, so it's kind of confusing, but beautiful cover. In 1930s, rural, rural Alabama, Cat Luger accepts a dare to enter the dark and forbidden swamp nearby and knock on the door of the Swamp Witch, a mythical figure that has been thought to only reside in children's nightmares. But what starts as a dare turns into a mission when Cat realizes that the Swamp Witch is no myth, but rather a sinister force and a devilish realm that extends far beyond her imagination. In fact, the Swamp Witch, in, in a pact with other dark forces, has been planning to destroy Cat's hometown in Amwell, Alabama, the local church, and their precious Christmas for a very long time. Having cast spells on swamp creatures, woodland animals, wolf-sized rats, and even French ghost pirates, she has a virtual army to help her succeed. So Cat forms a secret alliance with her best friends, Little Preacher and Jane Alice, who follow her lead through a series of mounting challenges to thwart the swan, Swamp Witch's plans. Without their parents' knowledge, they resolve to stop her, no matter what. In a parallel storyline, Amwell is America. A beautiful allegory unfolds for parents and young readers alike as Cat and her friends strive to save everything they hold dear. So intrigued by that. That sounds so good. And The Adventures of Penelope Hawk by J.V. Gray. What a beautiful cover. The Adventures of Penelope Hawk will take readers on a journey through the fantastical world of Mar Marazia, the place all children go each night to dream. Penelope lives in Reedville, New Mexico, a place once voted the most boring town in America. But when Lord Cosm, King of Nightmares, kidnaps her mom and puts the entire town under a spell, Penelope discovers that she's the only person who can save them. So Penelope embarks on an epic and action-packed adventure, joining forces with a dragon, a robot, a magician, and seven warrior princesses, Stop the Nightmare King and his army of monsters. In the Goodbye Year by Emily Gale. So beautiful. This is the start of 2020 and Harper is excited about her final year at River Lark Primary. But one by one things go wrong. Her best friends are made school captains and they are so busy with their roles they don't seem to have the time for her anymore. Parents take jobs overseas as nurses in a war zone. And she is bundled off to stay with her grandmother, who she hardly knows. Then the pandemic arrives, bringing more than more things to worry about. Harper's special year is turning out to be nothing like she'd hoped it would be. And then there's the ghost. Who is the boy in the library? Why is he here? And will he help Harper find a way to be happy with her goodbye year? So intrigued by that, and it sounds amazing. And the Winter Girl, Winter Girl, I think it's the first in the series. Yep. 
Talismans of Fate by Melanie the Boy. Oh, beautiful. I'm so excited about this one. On Talisman Day in Aerelia, every child receives an object that gives them special powers and reveals their destiny. Every child except for the Winter's Girl, Pen, that is. There's no need for a Talisman to reveal her fate. Pen already knows that she's doomed to a miserable, lonely life as a servant and outcast. All Pen has ever wanted is the impossible, to return to her home in Midwinter and find her true family. But she's trapped in Aurelia, where a long forgotten evil is stirring. When sinister events start to occur, the blame falls on the Winter's Girl. Suddenly, Pen finds herself running for her life, straight into deadly peril. Facing dangerous enemies with terrifying powers, what can the, an ordinary Winter's Girl do? Because without a talisman, there's no changing your fate. Is there? So happy I have that. And then Honor Among Ghosts by Sean Williams. Oh, beautiful. When Athelbert Pham Fawn is thrown in jail for thievery, his daughter Penny is convinced he has been framed. But by whom? Setting out to prove his innocence, Penny forms an unlikely foursome with the magister's son, a young traveler, and a magical scribe's apprentice. Soon they discover even more crimes, and it's always the rich being burgled and the poor being blamed. Before long, the whole town is in uproar until a mysterious specter arrives. But can they be trusted? It's up to the plucky quartet to untangle the truth and put things right. Detective story. Yes, please. This sounds incredible. Two books, Time Catcher series by Karen Gannon. When Days Tilt. And then One Soul's Chair. I think this is upper middle grade. It's 1858, and there are two queens on the throne. Victoria reigns over London, the biggest city the world has ever known. And in the shadow city of Dalmon, another queen, the Green Witch, rules over her own domain, Time. London is in turmoil. A blazing comet is searing the sky, and people are mysteriously disappearing all over the city, returning with empty eyes and torn souls. When 14-year-old Ava is thrust into the dark world of Dawn, she must discover the truth about her own life and those she loves, as well as fight to protect the future of both worlds. Yeah, upper middle grade. I'm just so excited to finally have these. I've been wanting them for so long. Well, the first book, the second book just came out. The rest are books that were in anticipated release video, so I won't read the synopsis, but I'll show you what I got. Stars Did Wonder Darkly by Colin Malloy. And he spoke the Wildwood Chronicles, which I've had forever. And I really need to read. <laughs> Very excited to have this. Witch Test by Katie L. Carroll. Love a good witchy spooky. And this is upper middle grade. Spell Tailors by James Nichol. So pretty. The Light Thieves by Helena Duggan. I really enjoy the A Place Called Perfect series by her. I'm so happy she finally has another book out. Windswept by Margie Prius. The cover is so gorgeous. Into Goblin Wood by Anna Kemp. So stunning. Apartment 713 by Kevin Sylvester. The Gingerbread Witch by Alexandra Overy. I've been waiting on this for so long. I'm so happy it's not here and it's beautiful. It's just so beautiful. A little good reimagining. That's Hansel and Gretel, I think. The Whisperling by Haley Hoskins. Stunning. Sounds like such a spooky, amazing story and I cannot wait to read it. Blackbird Blue Road by Sophia Pasternak. And I loved her Anya series, like Anya and the Dragon and Anya and the Nightingale, I think it was. I'm so excited that she has a new middle grade book out. This is so gorgeous. Map Maker by Lisa Moore LeMay. The Ghost of Drowned Meadow by Kelly Scavron. It's like a creepy good time. The Vanquishers by Kaylin Bayron. This one was compared to Buffy and had me all excited. If I'm not mistaken. I cannot wait to read that. Island of Spies by Sheila Turnage. You Only Live Once, David Bravo by Mark Ashiro. The Inkwell Chronicles, The Ink of Elspeth by J.B. Peabody. Wild Oak by C.C. Harrington. So beautiful. And then I ordered a signed, it said signed on the Blackwell's website. Of Unraveler by Francis Harding. And when it, but when it came, it says Water Stein, Waterstone signed exclusive edition, but I ordered it from Blackwell, so 
I guess they can sell. I don't know. But I'm not gonna land because Blackwell's the shipping is calculated in and free. And if I got it at Waterstones, it would have been the exact same price of the book. Like the price would have been in US dollars for me to get a $12 book. It would have been like $30. So I'll take Blackwell's. <laughs> And it came when it should have, which is always good. I had straight edges, which was a happy surprise. And it was signed. And then, so. And just like all her other stuff, I read it, or I've seen it says YA and MG, and just from what I've read and how it's pretty much clean, and it's, it's, a lot of people describe it as upper middle grade, so that's what I'm going by. And The Tree Keepers by Kirian Marwood. Pages. Alright, y'all, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, did you see any that you want to read and are excited about? Did you have you read any of these already? Did you like them? Did you not? Let me know in the comments. And then on cue, my foot is asleep. Today's <laughs> shirt is Halloween Town. This is like the cover of the book that they that morning gets shown. Very excited that it's spooky season. I feel like spooky season all year long. So. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> and if you would like to subscribe, I would love that if you'd like to. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.